Detective Bartlett in reference to case number 1902477. It is Sunday, September 15th, 2019 at approximately 5.28 p.m. I am at the uh, address of 14680 Southeast, uh, one, I'm sorry, 14680 Southeast 86th Terrace. I've got a uh, subject by the name of Matt here. He is supposedly the one that cleaned the residence out after the um, family left. Can we sit in my air conditioner for just a minute? Yep. Okay. I'd like to sit down and write everything. Do you have your ID on you by chance? Sure. Front seat, right? Yes, sir. You don't want to ride in the back seat. It's no different, really. Just to be free. it'll be awkward to be looking backwards at you while we're sitting here talking. Um, So I do have a few pictures. That's amazing. Not a whole lot, just a few though. Is that, and that's common, right? You always, I mean, you try to remember to take pictures of everything. I do. Just for documentation purposes, I assume. I do, just so the boss knows it's not a cakewalk. Yeah. And the boss is, what's his name, Joseph? Joe Petrolino. Okay. How long have you worked for him? Yeah, just a couple months. Okay. Is this your correct address? Yes, sir. 10165 Northwest 8th Lane. And that is 344821766. Um, what was your telephone number again? It's area code 352. Yes, sir. 426-9158. How did you get the call? How did what what, it, what transpired to get you over here to start cleaning this place up or whatever it was that? Well, Joe owns several properties, and uh, I usually work in North Marion County, but uh, this person was evicted, and he got a writ of possession. I think it's called. Okay. Um, and I was supposed to meet Patrick here the day after Memorial Day, Tuesday. Memorial Day, to Labor Day. Labor Day, yeah. Okay, so like this... when the storm was yep. happening. So you're supposed to meet the day after Labor Day. Mm-hmm. And what... I came here... Did you actually... You come here on the day after Labor Day? Is that yeah, what... Yeah, I okay. came here, and Patrick wasn't here yet. I waited for a little bit, and I actually went over to... You know, there's a couple of other units over there that are vacant. I just went to look at them. Okay. And then... Um, you know, it started getting kind of waiting a while, so I called Joe, and he said, oh, yeah, Patrick's taking the day off. Okay. Like, okay, thanks for telling me. So he then he said, uh, just go in, clean up or whatever, start cleaning it up. And uh, if you give me a second... I might be able to tell you exactly when, what time that was. Okay. These are some of the pictures, but uh, we'll get back to that. Um, what was that date? Uh, September third oh, was the glasses on. Was uh, September second was the day that Labor Day was recognized, which was Monday, and then September third was the Tuesday following. Okay, there's the sixth. Probably go get my glasses. <laughs> if you need to go grab them, go ahead. Okay, so here's September 3rd, Joe. Um, oh man, it's making me start all over. <laughs> It just says, it just says Joe, September 3rd. But it was like, it was around 9 in the morning. 
if you hit the uh, J, does it do anything? Yeah, it brings this up, but it it brings up the last calls and this is a new phone to me, so. Okay. So I mean, uh, it only gives me. It doesn't give them all yeah, to you. Most okay. Worries. But you know for sure that you did talk to him on the third, and basically that. Yeah. He said, "Go in, get cleaned, get Oops. it cleaned up, or start getting it cleaned up." Yeah, he told me to gain entry to the place. Um, was it locked? That he was had it a writ possession, or a writ of possession, and his exact quote was, because Patrick has the master key, mm -hmm. so his exact quote was, um, just use the screwdriver and pry it open. It's not that difficult to get in. And then he said, leave the door wide open when you leave, which I did not. I just left it unlocked and closed it because it was raining. And. Um, I went in and, you know, immediately, a lot of these places, unfortunately, it smells all the time. Either, you know, cat feces or just whatever. But there was a, there was definitely a distinct smell. And it was coming from this front room. There was definitely a smell in the kitchen. There always is when the power shut off for a while. There's mm -hmm. fridge and everything and dishes in the sink. But the front bedroom was the worst. When well, you're saying this bedroom. What, this one right the here. The one that faces to the east out the window. Yes, oh, sir. But, and um, so then basically I was here till I don't know a few hours. I actually have it written down in my in my uh, notebook. What time do you think you got here roughly? It ain't got to be. It had to be about nine. A.m. in the morning. A.m. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was here before that, but when I went in, it had to be right around nine o'clock. And I kind of took took a quick look around, um, and then I went and got some garbage bags came back and I this particular case I started bagging up the clothes separately mm -hmm. um, because there's kind of almost all women's clothes and some baby clothes and I thought maybe I'll donate them to the church or drop them at Salvation Army which I didn't do by the way and there were some boys clothes and I know they're boys clothes because I have four of my own was there any other, uh, where was all that stuff uh, located? That was in the, the back bedroom, the west bedroom. That's where I started. And I kind of drug everything out to the living room kind of area and then left for the day and came back the next day. Um, and Patrick was here before me at that point. So had you moved anything, when Patrick shows up here, did you move anything that was on this east, in this east bedroom at all? No. Okay. No, because that's where it stunk. Okay. So I went far away. I started in the, like I said, the back bedroom in the closet and Which the closet bathroom. were all, which closet were all the women's clothes? The, the west clothes? bedroom. The, the closet that's in the bathroom or the closet that's off the bedroom? The closet that's off the bedroom itself, the actual. Okay. Yeah, not the, not the bathroom closet. So there was... Young boys' clothes, baby clothes, and women's clothes. In there, there was the majority of women's clothes and baby's clothes. And in the in the bedroom itself, let me just show you. In the bed, that back bedroom itself, mm -hmm. um, there was just... Which bedroom is this? This is that back bedroom. The far back bedroom, okay. Far back bedroom. There was just a bunch of... This was mostly clothes, but stuffed animals and so on and so forth. Okay. That's where the boys' clothes were. And these were, these bins were actually. Which direction the, am I looking? Am I looking into the room? Yep, you're looking into the room. So, so that's, that's the, the back, back wall. Okay. And on the south side is that bedroom window. Okay. And there was a couple of these bins inside. I pulled them all out. Okay. Um, that's my house. This is the same bedroom mm -hmm. where those bins are. You see the bin right there. Okay. Um, this is the kitchen, kind of a mess. Okay. It's hard to see all the stuff in there. This was that main living room area okay. where I brought everything and put it up against this wall. Had right you here. already moved stuff at this point, or is this nope. where this is where it was when you got here? No, I, this is exactly where everything was. Okay. And this is the bedroom that stunk really bad. Okay. And I don't know what was in that. Do you mind? Not at all. And I'm happy to forward those pictures to you. So 
you don't know what's going on with is that a sheet or is that a blanket yeah it's what a it? sheet um from what i can kind of see because i still kind of balled it up a little bit it seems like there was like more um like baby kids sheets in there okay and in that back corner is where it just stunk the most but there was kitty litter on the ground so i figured okay well that's where they have a cat box okay and i figured and i sprayed um vinegar back there i found some vinegar in the kitchen i sprayed it back there after okay. i cleaned everything out so this is how you left it pretty much except for the moving of the stuff from that back room that day the first day yeah okay. this was this was this was still there just like that the second okay. day is there more pictures uh n- no unfortunately you want to forward them to me while we're sitting here thinking about it absolutely send them to my email address if you want to uh okay email them that might be the easiest or you can text them to me you got my number in there already you get it probably be easier just to text them uh, all right again that's new phone <laughs> this is you that's me detective yes sir They're all kind of that way. Yeah. For the majority of the ones I walk into. And they're after these kids, so it's these here, so. That's the front room. Whoops. That's okay. Send it. We'll let you send more than. We probably won't let you send more than one. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You're going to okay. a bunch of. That is perfectly fine. This one. And this is from front to back. Okay. Okay. Oops. Let me see if I can send to here. Can I go past me? Yep, there they are right there. Okay. This one. So when you get here that day, there's nobody else here with you. Correct. Describe that odor that you're smelling. What do you, What does it smell like to you? Uh, Obviously, you go into a lot of these houses. Yeah, it was... You smell the difference between trash and... You obviously mentioned that there's a distinct odor that kitchens normally put off whenever... Yeah, there was definitely... Oh, and by the way, up front, uh, by the stairs, uh-huh. there was a, just a pile of on either side of the stairwell, uh, the staircase there, um, it appeared to be just household trash. That's not pretty bad too. So I don't know, um, just to kind of jump forward for a second, I don't know what was in that because by the time I got here the next morning, Patrick had already had all that loaded up. Okay. So then I walk in and it smells, um, and there was definitely kind of an unusual smell there's definitely a smell of, you know, feces and urine, cat urine, and and again, kind of rotting kitchen stuff when, okay. when I got back towards the kitchen. But the, you know, I can't really describe the smell that was coming from the front bedroom. But you know, it was there was definitely some odor, and it smelled. I mean, we even joked about it. 
you know, it's not funny now, but we even joked about it being, you know, it smells like a dead body, but I don't know what a dead body smells mm-hmm. like. But that's what you guys kind of... Yeah. It smells like a... And when... Are you... The only thing that he had moved by the time you got here was the trash outside, or had he already started going in through the stuff inside? Um... The door was open inside, but I don't know that he moved anything from inside yet. Okay. Did Was there anything missing or anything different than when you came the day before? Mm, I didn't really pay much attention. Okay. He so, didn't... It, it seemed like he just got started on the outside, because like I said, that garbage outside was pretty much cleaned up, and okay. that seemed to be what was in the trailer. It didn't seem like there was anything from inside okay. on that trailer yet. Okay. So do you guys load up everything from in the house that day? Yep. Okay. So the house is clean of the other occupants' belongings or whatever's abandoned. Yeah, there was nothing left by the time we left here at 12.30, 1 o'clock. Okay. So like, you, we made two trips to the dump that day. So on 9-4, you guys were here from about what time till what time? Well, he was here at 7.30. I was probably here quarter of eight. Okay. So you got here about 7.45 and yes, what time did you guys leave it, you said? Um, I don't know what time it was the first time we went to the dump, but he'll, he'll have records of that. Okay. Patrick will. Okay. Um, but the second time, it was 12.30, 1 o'clock. Okay, so you guys had everything cleaned up, ready to go by 12.30, yeah. 1 o'clock after two trips. Now, did you take all the stuff to the dump or... Yep, everything went to the dump and went to, um, there's a hill and there's like a, um, a building, they call it the building. Okay. And we, we both truck loads or, um, trailer loads went into the building part of it. And you're talking about at the Marion County dump, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, well, you're going that... I'm going to be, I'm going to ask you basically, I know sometimes that there's stuff that's good in some of these houses. Was there anything that looked like it was still of any value? There was a, um, one of those pop-up canopy tents. Okay. It looked to be in pretty good shape okay. and, and like a little, little, a cord kind of fold up small cot. Okay. Which I have at my house. Okay. Anything when you're going through all this property is there anything that's abnormal other than people's trash or um, obviously you understand the kind of investigation we're working right well someone's missing apparently missing um, with suspicious circumstances is there anything that you think as looking back obviously when you're going through here it looks like people's trash that they left and went on to the next place right or yeah, does it look like there, there was no um, there was no like bloody knives or okay, you know weapons. Nothing suspicious. Nothing that you're like. Yeah, I need to call law. Kind of like, hey, wait a second, something happened here. Okay. The only thing that you can, ret- you, that looking back now, that you know we've called you and all that stuff is the the smell of that of whatever's going on in the front room. Yeah. And then thinking back a little bit further, maybe that thing of sheets is odd to you at that point. Yeah. That- yeah, it was odd, but again, it was kind of elongated, and um, there was a knot right in the middle, so there were some open spots, so what I saw in the open spots, like I said, was just kind of um, more sheets, okay. um, or comforter even, and I rolled it up even tighter, okay. and balled it up, and there was nothing um, any more dense than a comforter, I'd say. Okay, so when you're picking it up, obviously you have to manipulate manipulate it to carry it to the thing, mm-hmm. or to the trailer, so it, it doesn't feel, obviously I'm worried about a dead body being in there. Yeah, well, I was too. Okay. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I was too, so when I, like I said, there was nothing any more dense than a comforter, I'd say. Okay. So I just figured they were soiled. Okay, so it's something that you, you figured they just wrapped up and that it was just need hadn't been discarded but needed to be discarded. Um 
interesting way of putting it. Because certainly if there was some If those were like uh, bloody sheets or something they mopped up, I don't know, they would have smelled number one. I figured they were soiled sheets from a kid. Okay. Um, but uh, it wouldn't have been hidden if that's what they were trying to do is cover it up. It wasn't hidden well enough, I guess. Okay. Sorry. I just didn't want it to knock on the floor and disappear between the crack and the seat. <laughs> Can I borrow that towel? Just to kind of show you? Uh, show. What are you thinking? I kind of want to show you how it was wrapped up. And there was a knot in the middle. And there was kind of like an opening on either end. So I can kind of see... Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with how the, okay. how you would tie something like that up. Uh, I I, I've seen it, you know, when people are moving or something. Or they... You know, yeah. Or tying... Or putting... Like if you were to put clothing or stuff in there when you're moving. I've seen it before. When you don't have a box or something, you would tie the corners up in a knot, right? Yeah. I mean, you can kind of see something sticking out here. Mm -hmm. I guess I must have held the button. That's why. Yeah, you got a, a motion picture going on. Um, but, I, but again, these were kind of like kids' comforters or whatever, and I basically took it from this end and folded it in half again and kind of wrapped it up. Okay. So, but when you folded it, there was it didn't feel like anything more than right. sheets or blankets or clothing right. or something. There's nothing no den nothing denser okay. uh, than, like I said, a comfort. Okay. But that same day, the first day when you were there by yourself, you found some uh, vinegar in the kitchen and sprayed it in that no, bag? No, no. That was the next day? That was the okay. next day after I cleaned that room completely out, okay. swept it up, and then there was like a, a, almost like a greasy spot in the corner where the cat litter was. I'd seen the way the floor, that floor in there is much shinier than is all still? the rest of the house. Okay. Yes. Well, that's where I sprayed it in this, in this corner right here. You're, just, you're pointing out just the, north of the window, the okay. north, uh, east corner. Okay. What was the, was there just a greasy spot or what, what did it look like to you? Well, there was cat litter kind of scattered all over that. Um, and then I swept it all up and yeah, for the most part, it just seemed like a greasy spot. And I actually thought that it was, like I said, just cat urine or something. It didn't seem sticky. It just seemed greasy. Okay. Um, Can I keep this? Yeah, absolutely. Let me put my, my uh, case number on there for you, too. All right. So everything gets cleaned out. Is there anything abnormal? Is there a... I'm, I can tell you that. Did, do you know the people that lived here? Do you know? Do you know them personally? I've never met these. People. Okay. I met the ones in okay. number five. Um, is there anything to you to indicate that there's a male living there? See, that's just it. There wasn't. Although I did see a family portrait, mm -hmm. and there's and the portrait, if I remember correctly, was a gentleman, short cropped hair and a beard, a woman, a little on the heavy side, blonde hair, a small baby. Okay. I don't know if it was a boy or a girl. I'm assuming it was a girl, judging from the, the clothes that were in there. Okay. And then a young boy that uh, may have been mixed or maybe they adopted him. He didn't seem like he was part of that family. Okay. Um, anything else that would be helpful in an investigation like this that you remember? Was there, did it look like the stuff that was there was left hastily, like the people left in a hurry? Or does it look like something that was intentionally left? I know that okay. I, I've been into, I, I know the stuff that you got to clean up and it's normally trash that they went through all their good stuff, took their good stuff. And there's some stuff that I haven't used in the six months that I lived here. I'm going to abandon it and somebody else can, it can be their problem. Here's my thought. My thought was that there was obviously something, some sort of squabble, I guess. Um, and he, she was gone 
and he took all his stuff out. Okay. Because there was no nothing really indicating that a male even lived there at that point. Okay. So I'm assuming that's what I assumed at the time. I assumed he basically took she was gone. She was out of the house. Uh -huh. And he took all his stuff and locked her out or whatever she took off. And, um, that's the impression that I got when I was in there. Okay. Because so. there was all her stuff was there. And basically none of his things were in there. Okay. So it looked like all her stuff's there, but she may have left it and then he came back or whatever and took all his stuff and just left all her stuff. Right. Okay. Um Did anybody ever show up here while you guys are cleaning up? Never. Okay. Um, and I asked the neighbor. This neighbor he, next door? Yeah, this one right here. Somebody lives here? Yeah, there was a guy with a long, you know, shoulder length, blonde, stringy hair, maybe 145 pounds. I said, to, you know, have you seen this guy? And he said, no, I don't know what's going on there. So. Okay. Any blood that you've seen that you recognize as blood on any of the belongings? No. Nope. Was there a couch? No. There was a bed leaned up against there. Was it a whole bed or was it just, the, I see just was, a box spring? It was a box spring and a mattress. Okay. The box spring was outside, the mattress was okay. inside. So just the angle of the picture is what kind of threw me off there. Yeah. Okay. So there was a mattress and a box spring. Mm -hmm. Was there any kids bedding in any of the rooms? Uh, other than the blankets, no. Okay. So no no kids mattresses, no, no bed no frames or anything like that? Mm-mm. -mm. You said there was no couch. Was the TV was the TV here? I didn't see a TV. Okay. There was a karaoke machine. Um, in the back bathroom, there was, you know, a flat iron, a hair dryer, you know, uh, women's you, stuff. Do you remember if the key for the place was left behind? It was not. Okay. I looked for it. It was supposed to be on the mantle in an envelope, I guess, but Never, it, wasn't. it wasn't there. Hmm. Okay. So the base, the the totes that you had that the, that you had already pulled out prior to your pictures were in the far west bedroom in the closet. Two of them were. Yeah. Okay. Did it? Did that room look like it was being packed up, or does did it look like the stuff that was there was just there because somebody was done with it? Those things looked like they were stored that way. Okay. The way they were kind of in the closet. It didn't look like they were packing that stuff up. Was there a defined area where the mattress would have, should no, have gone? Not at all. Not in that, not in the uh, west bedroom. Okay. Actually, in neither bedroom. Okay. There was, um, there was lamps and things like that on this north wall in the west bedroom. Mm -hmm. And there was kind of a pathway through to the bathroom. But that's it. So nothing, nothing distinct and nothing obvious that you would have related to a crime scene or a need to call law enforcement. Not at all. Okay. But obviously there was some suspicion when, or something that you described or something that you guys joked and said that smells like a dead body. That's how bad it smelled. That's, it was pretty bad, yeah. But you were all, also able to, to tell the difference between that smell and the smell of decomposing food and stuff like that in the kitchen. Well, that, yeah, there was definitely a different smell in the kitchen. Okay. Um, was there any odor in that back west bedroom? Not at all. Okay. So That's every, why I started in Okay. There. So you, you went to the easy spot <laughs> yeah, and I exactly. understand. Okay. <laughs> So that, this room down here was the room, like, I don't really want to go in there because it smells so bad. Right. And, I'll, I'll wait till the end. Okay. Um, and you described kitty litter. Is it kitty litter poured on the floor? Is it kitty litter that looks like it fell out of a kitty litter box? or? So there was another uh, cardboard box kind of pushed in the corner. Uh -huh. So it was hard to determine whether or not there was originally a kitty litter box there. but um, And there was a lot of kitty litter I mean, I, it's not I, like let me like a cat. Like you, ha do you have a cat? I had a cat, and so I you get know scratches, and they leave like a little outline right. of the pan. No, no, no. It was it, there was a considerable amount of kitty litter kind of piled up in that corner. Do you know if they had a cat? Um, you know, I didn't see any cat toys. Come to think of it, no cat toys, no um, food for cats. 
And you didn't see a cat, obviously. I didn't see any food for cats. There were no cats here when I got here. Anything dog-related? I wouldn't say there was a dog in there. Okay. Um, Cause there I know was that. on this north wall in this east bedroom, there was what appeared to be cat feces. I just assumed it was cat feces. It was just small. Okay. Could have been from the baby. I don't know. Okay. If, if there was an actual baby still. I don't know how old the, the youngest child was. Okay, but you you did recognize, like, smaller uh, girls' clothing or smaller children's clothing. Right. And then a distinct difference between that and some boys' clothes. Something. There was definitely... Had to be... Uh, I'd guess between 9 and 11 years old. Okay. Um, and then there was there was definitely baby clothes hanging in the OS bedroom closet. And there was... Um, no, it was definitely girls, now that I think about it. It was definitely, it was okay. definitely a young girl's clothes. Okay. And at this point, she probably was a year, somewhere around a year, I'd say. Is that based on the size of the, the clothes? size of the clothes. Okay. Um, but it went from infant to, you know... Where did the cot go and where did the... I have met my house. Did, where were they at inside the house? In uh, the west bedroom, just up against this wall. Okay. Did you keep anything out of this east bedroom? No. Okay. Um, and obviously, my concern... i, I got to ask you this question. Sure. You can be offended if you want. <laughs> I don't think you will Not because you seem like you're very eager to help me um i'm not here to judge you i'm not here to arrest you for illegal dumping or anything like that i wouldn't be surprised if somebody went somewhere they weren't supposed to go and dumped trash did you 100 percent dump this at the recycling center okay i just don't want to get down the road and you call me back nope. and say hey detective bartlett i'm there's going to be two receipts, two receipts that patrick will have in which car did you guys take your truck or his truck no his truck He's got a black Ford, okay. older, 89 actually, because I have an 88. Okay. And I'm just trying to think of everything I needed to do. Did you mop the entire place? I didn't mop at all. I swept. Okay. I seen in there that there's a fresh mop bucket and there's a... That might have been Patrick. ...broom. Would it be something that you guys would leave behind though? Uh, depending on which broom it is, I definitely left the broom behind there is a like a blue like dust i don't know how to really describe it like a is blue. it a smaller one no this one's got a big head on it like this no and it's like one of the flat things that you'd use to kind of dust off floors uh like a wood floor type thing and then there's a mop and a mop bucket and mm-hmm. there's a thing of bleach and a thing of odor control no that might have been patrick did, so you think he may have came back since? I would hope so, because all we really did was kind of sweep it out. Okay. In Do fact, you... I know he must have come back because he bleached, he sprayed bleach in the fridge. So there obviously was bleach in there. So the day that you guys were here on the 4th, when you went to the dump, all you guys strictly did was like a light clean, you cleaned the contents of the house out and then did a light sweeping. Correct. And there was no hard scrubbing on any of the floors or anything no. like that? I just wanted to get all the kitty litter up and, okay. you know, a little whatever. And then, like I said, in this um, northeast corner, I sprayed the vinegar. Okay. But no cleanup. Like it like it wouldn't be spread out all around the floors. That greasy stuff would have not been spread around the floors. For, uh, like you guys know. didn't sweep or mop. So that stuff wouldn't have been... We didn't mop, but okay. I did sweep. Okay. Okay. Where's Patrick live? Um, Jacksonville Road, just north of 35th. Okay. It's not too terribly Street. far from here, but a good a good jog yeah. if I were to ask him to come down here. Okay. All right. Um, I think I covered everything. Do you mind sticking around for just a minute so I can see where she's at? And not at all. You can kind of walk me through, and I'll I'm you can kind of point everything out, and we'll go from there. All right. You're going to have to get to your truck before it rains. You better go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My pleasure. I'm going to check. You get those I'm checking right yeah. now. I have to shut my uh, ringer off whenever I do these interviews. So let me check. I'm glad I did that.
I'm glad you did that too. Hopefully they come right through. Um, you're not going anywhere. I'll check it. Hopefully they'll come through in just a second, okay? I'll go sit in the truck. Thank you. My pleasure. This concludes our interview at 6.03 p.m.